another video. I hope you are doing very well. Recently, I asked you guys on my Instagram what your favorite things are to order when you go out for brunch at a cafe, and I decided to get the top responses and make a week of vegan breakfast, but like cafe style breakfasts, you know? So yeah, I hope today's video inspires you to get creative in the kitchen and to make like some cafe style brunches at home. And as always, all of the full recipes will be down in the description box below if you do want to try uh, any of these recipes at home. Anyway, with that being said, let's get into the video. This is a week of vegan breakfasts and I hope you enjoy. <music> The first thing we're making today is a classic avocado on toast and I am starting by first of all slicing two pieces of toast and putting them into the toaster. From there I am then getting an avocado and slicing it in half and then I'm only going to use half of this avocado so I sliced it into small pieces and put it into a bowl. From there I then used the juice of half of a lemon and squeezed that into the bowl as well followed by a pinch of pepper and a pinch of salt. Then I just mashed this all together with a fork until it was relatively well combined. From there I got my two pieces of toast and I spread on some vegan cream cheese. Then on top I put my avocado mixture as well as some spring onions and some sesame seeds followed by some sprouts and some lemon. Next we are making some choc chip pancakes and I'm first of all starting with some soy milk and some apple cider vinegar into a small bowl and I'm going to set that to the side. Then in a medium sized bowl I'm putting some plain flour followed by a pinch of salt. Then I added in some baking powder as well as some brown sugar and put that into the bowl and then I put in my soy milk and apple cider vinegar mixture as well as some oil and I whisked this all together until there was like no lumps. Then I added in some vegan choc chips and I cooked these over a medium heat just with some vegan butter to make sure that it didn't stick to the pan. This made about four medium sized pancakes and then on top I just put some homemade uh, vegan Nutella but you could put any nut butter that you like as well as some frozen raspberries and you could put whatever fruit you like on top. We are making a tofu scramble and I'm starting with some oil as well as some spring onions and some fresh garlic into a small frying pan. Then I'm putting half a block of tofu and I am crumbling it in my hands before putting it into the pan. Then I'm adding in some nutritional yeast as well as some sweet paprika, some salt and then also some pepper. From there I am going to stir this around whilst it cooks a little bit and then I'm going to add in some soy milk just to moisten the mixture up a little bit uh, so that it scrambles well. As you can see it is a really really nice texture, that's the texture we're looking for. From there I am then putting some toast in the toaster. I just used three small pieces of toast <laughs> this day and then I'm putting my scrambled tofu mixture on top of this followed by some spring onions as well as some sesame seeds and some sprouts to finish it off. making some breakfast tacos and I'm starting by making the guacamole. I'm first of all just putting half of an avocado into a bowl followed by the juice of half a lemon, some pepper and some salt and I'm just going to mash this together until it is well combined. From there I am then making my fresh salsa and I'm starting with about a quarter of a tomato and I'm cutting this into small pieces followed by some fresh garlic and then I'm cutting that into small pieces as well. I'm putting these into a bowl and then following that with some fresh spring onion as well and then I am also using the juice of a quarter of a lemon and mixing that together lightly with my hands. From there I am then putting a can of chickpeas uh, and I am washing them before I am using them 
Uh, and then what I'm going to do is only use a cup of those and then I'm going to put them into a bowl and mash them together so that we get this scrambled kind of texture. Then I'm adding in some nutritional yeast as well as some plant-based milk, some pepper and some salt. And I am mixing this together until uh, it gets to the desired texture. Then I'm getting three soft taco shells, putting my guacamole on, followed by my chickpea scramble, my fresh salsa, and then an aioli drizzle. And I'm just garnishing with sesame seeds and sprouts. Next up we are making some vegan French toast and I started by putting some plain flour and some soy milk into a blender. I then added in some rice malt syrup to sweeten followed by some vanilla as well as some flax meal to thicken it up. I then blended this all together until it was very very well combined and after that I poured it into a shallow but wide bowl. Then I just soaked the bread in the mixture and then I put it onto the heat in a large frying pan just with some vegan butter to grease it so that it doesn't stick. To serve this I recommend just serving with some fresh fruit as well as a drizzle of rice malt or maple or agave or something nice and sweet. We are making an acai bowl and I am first of all starting by putting a splash of soy milk into my blender followed by some almond butter as well as some vanilla protein. From there I am then adding in some frozen bananas as well as some frozen raspberries and I am blending this all together. Uh, if you're wondering I use a Vitamix and I do recommend. <laughs> um, after this I am then adding in my acai packet. I do this because I find that it blends a lot easier once the rest of everything is blended together. So yeah that's what I do and then we get this really really nice textured uh, smoothie bowl and I put this smoothie into a bowl <laughs> and from there I topped with some granola as well as a drizzle of peanut butter and then I also put some fresh strawberries on top but again you could add whatever fresh fruit you like. <music> finish the week we are making a blat and the first thing we need to make a blat is some rice paper bacon. So in a wide but shallow bowl I am putting some olive oil as well as some barbecue sauce, nutritional yeast, sweet paprika, salt and pepper and then I'm mixing that together with a spoon. In the other bowl that I have I am just going to get some warm water from the tap and it needs to be a shallow but wide bowl as well and then I am cutting up some rice paper into strips and I'm going to use two pieces of rice paper bacon strip things <laughs> um, and put them together. So you want to do two pieces, stick them together, soak them in the water and then cover them in the uh, barbecue sort of mixture that we made and then put them onto a baking tray. From there we're going to bake them in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. Then it is time to assemble our sandwich and I'm just using one piece of toast with some um, vegan garlic aioli on it to start and then from there I am also going to put on ooh, I'm going to put on some cos lettuce then I'm going to put some sliced tomato as well as a few pieces of our rice paper bacon then I'm putting a quarter of an avocado followed by our last piece of toast and that's a blight <laughs> Alrighty my beautiful friends, that was a week of vegan breakfasts. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe and also go follow me on the gram where I post lots of vegan food content. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for being here and supporting my YouTube channel. It means so much to me and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye!